Hey, there we go. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see who we have. Can we add some folks? There they are. Hello? Hello. Oh my goodness. Hey. That, was, that was so fast. <laughs> hey, everybody. Ooh, I can put on a cool filter so I don't look so tired. Love uh, this. Oh, yeah. How do you we put on filters? Oh. That's fun. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. I look, I look like a goon right now. <laughs> um, Ooh. I, it opted. I, well, I can have like butterflies. Amazing. Oh, I love this. It's just you know, the OPO. Oh, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> Let me get my... Amazing. All right. Do something, do, do something a little more low-key. How about this? Does this work? Do we like this? Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> oh, you know, just, 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 just clowning around. Mm -hmm. That looks so weird. It looks like... Anyway. We'll just fuck with our filters. <laughs> I guess so. Let's just, let's just do this for an hour. We did it. Perfect. Oh, I love Perfect. that one. Oh, I, it I matches the vibes. Yeah. Sparkly. Yeah. Nice and sparkly and pinkly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm still I'm, here for it. I'm, I'm still at work. I had to like, or stay late. I'm, I'm not like on the clock anymore, but Hope is at home sleeping. She has to get up hella early. So I figured if we were going to be allowed, I would just stick around here and hop into one of the yeah. other rooms. So. Love it. I like that. Yeah, it works. How are y'all? How is how is your days? Sleepy. Yeah. My TV, my Wi-Fi went out last night, so I'm just like going through these filters. So, um, my Wi-Fi filter went out last night. Not filter. My Wi-Fi went out last night, and I can't sleep without the TV on. And so uh. I was up all night. Like I like didn't sleep, and then I had a lot of work to do today, and I was like, okay, well, I'm just gonna like get some work done. And then go to sleep. So I slept all day, and I just woke up like an hour ago. <laughs> that rules. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you gonna stay up all night then? Oh, I'm drinking. This is Death Wish coffee that I have right here. So who knows? Poor Reed. You have to deal with me all night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> yeah. But anyway. Fun. Yeah. How was your day, Reed? Uh, it was good. I mostly did a bunch of boring administrative stuff for for the band data entry, fun things that nobody thinks about with a band. Beauty, uh, beauty of the industry. Yeah, you gotta love it. I uh, did a <laughs> lot of that. And uh, what else did I do today? I went to therapy where I cried about how mean people are to retail workers. Uh, because I was at the store earlier and somebody was real mean. Oh God! Yeah, it like brought something out of me. I wasn't I wasn't ready to face from my past. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Jeez. Especially this time of year. People are so mean this time of year. Yeah. 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 One of my sure. one of my coworkers works at Whole Foods, and he said people were just brutal all day today. Yeah. And I was just like, damn, I can't imagine. Yeah, you know, today and tomorrow are like the worst two days of the year for Whole Foods. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, because Thanksgiving is coming. I mean, fuck Thanksgiving, but yeah. like, <laughs> it's like the worst time yeah. of the year. It just puts puts people in a bad mood. It does. Yeah. Yeah. We're, so the video's been out for a while. I don't. I don't really have any sort of structure to this occasion. I just figured we could hop on and just just chill and talk about the video yeah I, I like yeah we haven't seen each other since since that day since, or since really that haven't like weekend happened. yeah <laughs> so here we are again filters a little distract i'll turn it off <laughs> i was just like all pink all the time oh i love it Pretty was it two weeks ago that it came out it was a week ago today right i think so. yeah yeah. We go today? Yeah. Or we can, we can go tomorrow. Yeah. We go, yeah, oh, tomorrow. tomorrow's we Wednesday. Go tomorrow. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Today's Tuesday. That's right. Every day is Wednesday. Yeah, true. <laughs> true. Yeah, yeah I'm but, excited. People seem to like it. Yeah, I just, every every day I get like a little notification on YouTube, just someone commenting, or at least, if not every day, at least every other day. It's just yeah. like, this video is so cool, right? It's such a good job. It's yeah. Just like, yeah. Yeah, have people yeah. have people like told told you directly, Ray, about how 
fucking sick the video is? Yeah, I've had a few, like, messages about it, which is really nice because, like, I'm just, like, so disconnected from reality most of the time that I don't know if something's good unless people tell me, but I also don't need that, but I also like it. You know what I mean? So I'm like, Ten. okay, I made this thing oh, no. for Eichler's and We Are the Union. I think it's cool. I mean, y'all think it's cool. That's all that really matters. But then we want other people to like it too. So Ten. that feedback is really nice. Um, I'm just like, I'm I'm so like disconnected from just everything. I'm just like, oh, wow, cool. Thank you. And then I just, I forget nice comments. And then I just, <laughs> they go away into the ether and I forget. <laughs> Yeah, people people have been yeah. people have been very kind and very receptive. No one's no one's talked to me shit yet, which is sick. Yeah, I mean not that I expected I, anyone to. There was that one comment on like Twitter or something where someone was like said something about are they like gecko a hundred geckos or something? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone said like hundred gecks but shitty and I was like, I'll take it. Oh yeah, yeah I have no idea what that <laughs> is, but yeah. um I don't know what what is that a band? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Like. That, yeah, that was a comment that I saw where I was like, "Oh, is that a bad thing?" I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> that was like the one bad thing that I saw, um, which I didn't know if it was bad or not. Yeah. Just... Which, by the way, Hundred Gex's new song is absolutely incredible, and the video is ridiculous. Oh my god! Yeah, I definitely like a grower of a song for me. I didn't. I didn't love it right out the gate. Yeah, but the more I listened to it and then saw the video, I was like, "Okay, game over." The video, the video is really the clincher. It's so good. Oh my god, and it's like, so good. Laura's Laura's it. voice without the pitch shifting. Yeah, it sounds great. Yeah, it sounds so fucking good. Oh my yeah, god. yeah. I remember reading in like some. I think they did some interview with some online publication a few months ago, and they said that the first single would like had some ska in it, and I was like, "Oh, here we go." Mm-hmm. It sure yeah. does. It sure does. Gobble up the sky. Gobble up the sky. Yeah, so um, I I brought my, my little note sheet that I made when mm. we had that phone call um, a couple months ago, Ray, of just like oh. your ideas. Yeah, so. Oh my God, that's so cool. Yeah. I, and you like wrote all of it down? I wrote all of it. Yeah, just because I have, I have like a notoriously terrible memory. So um, yeah, okay, that's, okay, I, mean, we're I gonna, wrote like, it all down too. I wrote it all down too. I mean, somewhere it's somewhere in my notes somewhere, but I have to like, I just remember being on the phone with you and I was like, okay, so I'm feeling this like Lizzie McGuire vibe yeah. on the, like on a phone or like sitting in the bed, just kind of like this. That was like a thing that I had in mind. Um, I forget what else I told you, but that it was like, <clears throat> I wanted it to be like Y2KEU like, um, but I'm so, I don't even know how to explain it. I explain it to you. Maybe you can go over the notes. Yeah, let's see. I got concept, cute song, film stuff at the beach, couple in the video, dreamy fantasy vibe, glowy, pretty, vibrant. Check, <laughs> check, check. Nailed it. Video is all of those things. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I can see myself saying that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lizzie McGuire vibe, pink princess room, lots of B roll, cute mm -hmm. visuals. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Yep. I think like the the color palette you picked like fits that Y two K aesthetic perfectly. Yeah, and then another thing I was going back and forth on though, wow, because I remember telling you too, I, like when we were all at we were all eating dinner or something after the video, and I was like, oh, I really want to do like glitch transitions or something. Yeah. And I was like, okay, but like I didn't know how to do that, and so I learned I just like the Academy of YouTube taught me how to do those, like the glitch effects. And it was really difficult to like get them all like on beat with the, all the sounds that it was like the, the sounds that it was going with or whatever. Yeah. Um, but I was going back and forth whether or not I wanted it to be like a super eight camera vibe or a VHS camera vibe. And I feel like the VHS camera vibe really fit. I knew I wanted it to be like older looking, I guess, but yeah. it's like very electronic looking, Yeah, I guess. The... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I love the way it looks yeah, visually. I, I think it's so cool. And I think those effects really did did add something to it, and like the the filters to make it look like a VHS and all that stuff. Like it was, it's very very well done, and it looks uh, it like looks it it like looks timeless. Like it's actually like it's actually from you know another time, but it still also like incorporates 
with like the glitch effects and stuff, it's it incorporates enough of like what we can do now that it also feels like very yeah. grounded in like what's happening now, which I think is a really cool, cool and difficult to achieve um, thing. Yeah, yeah, definitely my favorite part of making the video what, or like editing the video was the glitch stuff because I personally am a sucker for like, I don't know, something I like personally in music videos is like when things happen in a music video that like go perfectly to music, like where you're you're building the bridge between visual and sound, but like bringing them together, right? Like that's why music videos are so fun. And so like the little glitch thingies, like there, I was like straight up, I was like, what glitch would, which glitch, like how can I get a glitch that looks like this sound? You know what I mean? So like whatever sound was happening, I'm like, okay, but what would that look like if it was a visual glitch? You know, and that's where like, that's how I figured out where to put what, and like, I don't know, because different sounds, different glitches are still, they're all different glitches, but they all match a certain sound. Yeah, it like, th that took me like a few tries or a, a, like a few run throughs of the video to like notice them all. And just like, there was, there's layers to the effects that you added. Oh, mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah, yeah. So there was fucking like, cool. So many layers, like an onion. <laughs> I was trying to clap, but my my other hand is holding the phone, and my brain didn't know until it was too late. <laughs> so I'm just sitting here going like this. <laughs> I have I have yeah. this friend in Salt Lake who like is very good at doing one hand clapping thing, and they were all, they would always just come up to me and be like, "This is the sound of one hand clapping," and then like flip yeah. their oh, do wrist. The thing. Yeah, and yeah. they do it with both hands, and they would just like approach me and just like doing this crab oh, thing. I'm like, ah. <laughs> oh great, that's cool. We are the onion. That's right. Oh my we are the onion. We are the onion. Um, yeah, the it was it was. I had like a little bit of a panic moment when I uploaded it to YouTube because I thought like I'd gotten a lower like lower quality version at first when I first uploaded uh -huh. and viewed the link just because of that filter like in the first scenes where the title card is. Mm -hmm. I was just like, oh no. And I had like already sent the video off and stuff. And I was like, yeah. Well, you know what's stressful too about YouTube? I just learned this because this is only my third music video. So like, this is still a pretty new rodeo to me. And so when I was like, I'll do test uploads before I send them just to like triple, double, quadruple, make sure. And like, it takes forever for the like 4K option to even show up. Like it has oh. to like sit a little bit. That's why when I was telling you, I was like, okay, oh, you have to upload it like a little bit before so that when yeah. you know and schedule it so that it's already the high quality version of it has like rendered and it's been processed by youtube mm -hmm. kind of thing. yeah totally yeah and that it was something completely spaced my mind so that was freaking out a little bit about it but it was all good yeah it turned it, it looks very good on yeah. youtube um yeah and they uh Mine, mine kind of went blank. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I like don't go live often or like, I don't know. I'm just awkward. You yeah. just great. People should, can people talk to us? Mm -hmm. Hello. Uh, yeah, people can like ask <laughs> questions and shit. Um, Ooh, doesn't there I, like a question bar thing? I think so. I don't know. Is that the option? I used to go live quite a bit, and then I like stopped. I got tired of like. Oh, yeah, I did. I think you told me that you like got drunk on live one time. <laughs> I did drink half a giant buzz ball on live. Amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. that was that was that was a lot different because I was drinking half a buzz ball. And I was just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I love that. Yeah, the I think the one time I went live was for my birthday last year and I had already been buzzed by the time that I went on live and I just progressively got more drunk and it was mm -hmm. it was a time it was like three hours I'd like once it would end I'd go back on <laughs> and it was so fun but I was also drunk so I don't really remember that much but that was the only time I ever go live because I'm just like oh awkward um but I don't know I think it'd be interesting to hear y'all talk about the song yeah, just like the song in general, you know, and your and Reed's collaboration into that or the writing or whatever. Yeah, I want to read if you want to speak a little bit to 
your verse and just like yeah what you thought when when i first sent you the song and stuff because i never really asked you that yeah yeah so um i could have asked me to to do a song like months and months and months and months before and uh I was just like super busy at the time, couldn't get it together, was like juggling a bunch of stuff um, and wasn't able to get it together. And then I ended up finishing the song. It was like, you know, we're re we'll revisit this later. And I was like, fuck, uh, but I get it. Uh, and then like, maybe like, I don't know, two or three months after that, you reached out again and you were like, I got another idea, let's do it. And you like sent me that song and I instantly fell in love. Like it's such a, it's just such a, um, such a like catchy, fun, like everything about it is just like right which is which is very rare for a song um and so i was super excited i was super super excited to get to kind of like add you know add something to it um and it, it was fun too because it felt like i was like the song is so good i have to like step up my game a little bit and i like i spent like a bunch of time and revised it like a million times and then there was there was a version where the third eye blind reference was twice as long as it is now and <laughs> I think that's the uh, first one that I heard. Yeah, I it, it was. Me. Yeah, it was. It was not a good, no, not a good decision. We like. I, I think like the next day, I test. I texted you, Ike, and I was like, I don't know about like the double length. And you were like, I. There was the vibe I got was like that you didn't want to say it, but you were thinking the same thing. So, like, and so like yeah, I took another stab, and it was I, much better for it. Because I, I, I think from from what I remember when you were writing it, you're like. I definitely dropped a third eye blind reference in there and I was like, yo, <laughs> let's go. That's right. And then, and then you're, and then you sent me draft one and you're like, let me know if there's too much third eye blind. And in my head, I was like, no such thing. What are you talking about? <laughs> and then you're right. It was like half the verse was third eye blind. And I was like, yeah, that yeah. is quite a bit. Yeah. That's almost think, four eyes blind at that point. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. I think we, I think we reached a happy medium. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think it's yeah. funny. It was just, it like fits so perfectly. Cause I was, so I, when I wrote that verse, I was actually driving um, Ray to the Anaheim studio. I don't remember what we were doing, but when I wrote that verse, I was like driving there and I literally just remember like driving by, um, driving by uh, Disneyland. Cause the studio is like kind of by Disneyland. Oh, okay. And, and literally, I don't know what it was about that moment, but like the song was playing and like, I was like Disneyland. And then I just started singing semi charm life over the song. And I was like, it's so perfect. Like it's a totally <laughs> different song, but there's something about it. That's like so perfect. And I was like, I have to do it. Like I have to throw that in there somewhere. Um, but yeah, that's, that's how I write a lot. Uh, when it's like a, a collaboration or like a feature where there's kind of like a pre-made track, just yeah. like driving around and just like singing gibberish and like whatever comes to my brain. And then like later I'll figure out the gibberish will tell me what the words are later. And then, then I'll try to make it into English after that. So that's like, um, that's a good way to go. Yeah. It's, it's fun. It lets the melody kind of lead you, which is nice. Yeah. No, that definitely adds to the catchiness of it for sure. Um, while the Disneyland had a hand in that. Right. I always, I always. I didn't even like, know that. That's so funny. Yeah. I always feel like Disneyland and like 2000s pop rock go like hand in hand together. Hand in hand. Oh, yeah. It all yeah. works out, right? Oh yeah, for sure. Like I mean, even just like the pop stars at the time. Like I don't know. I listened to like Raven Simone, you know, who was a Disney star, and when I was a kid, I like had her CD and stuff. I don't know who else like. What uh Ashley Simpson. Mm -hmm. That's not really like a Disney, you know. Um, Disney adjacent. Show. Yeah. Disney okay. adjacent. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wasn't Hillary Duff wasn't on Hillary Duff like, was Lizzie McGuire. Lizzie McGuire. Right. But Disney like didn't put that out, did they? But that's like close enough, right? Wait, it was Disney Channel oh, original, right? It was a Disney Channel original. Yeah. Right. Oh, oh yeah, duh. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it was like it yeah. was like on Disney, like the Disney Channel. Um Yeah, when they would go in the corner and be like with the little yeah, glow stick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. I, I, that's that's so funny because the the memory of that drawing the Mickey head in my brain defaults to like seeing Hillary Duff do it. So yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, I think I think hers was like one of the more fucked up ones. It was like it was didn't even look like she was drawing a <laughs> Mickey head. I think that's why we had a whole bunch of the Disney stars do it. Yeah, and it's just like where's where's your loop? 
where's the ears? I didn't see it. I don't yeah. know. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'm just remembering, but yeah, I don't know because we were like super young. Yeah, it's super funny. Yeah, so it all comes it all comes full circle then. That's right. Yeah, Disney Channel was where I first heard the Suicide Machines too. <clears throat> On Disney really? Channel? Yeah, the song "Give" is in the the Disney Channel original classic Brink. Okay, somehow that movie completely missed me. Oh, you gotta that's, watch it. It's so good. That's like it's so that's, good. That's oh, like man, Let's Blade, it. right? Is that what's that? Yeah. Is, is that like the line? It's a roller. Let's Blade. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yep, that's the movie. Yeah, Brink is so good. Yeah, and uh, yeah, "Give" by the Suicide Machines is in that movie, and then I put it on a mix. I mix CD and I was listening to it in the car with my dad and he was like this song's pretty good what's this band called and I was like the Suicide Machines and he got so mad <laughs> he's like what a what a horrible name uh and then I wasn't allowed to listen to them anymore but I did anyway uh, <laughs> that's why I think I've heard a similar story about Slipknot or was that a different band uh, no. oh White Zombie White Zombie more White human Zombie. I was listening to more human than human on uh on the radio and uh there's an f-bomb in that song that i sang and the radio didn't uh, <laughs> i got in a lot of trouble for that one too oh white, white, white zombies more human than human yeah how old are you i was probably 12 too young to say fuck in front of my dad <laughs> <laughs> i might have been younger honestly i might have been like 11 um yeah <laughs> that's amazing yeah, and take, uh, Take Today pointed out that Destruction by Definition was on Hollywood Records. It sure was. Which is the Disney-owned label, right? Yeah. Wait, is there comments? Chat is not working for me, which is very sad. Chat oh. isn't working for me either. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, I think, I feel like I've seen other people have this problem. I think it works. I just saw your comment read. So I can post, but I can't see the other posts. Oh, that's oh, no. right. I can see all of the posts. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, well, what are people saying? I can't see people it. I could about... see it before, uh, earlier. Sam Colombo says, Metamorphosis by H. Duff is some good shit. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Great facts. Sam's always been. Yes. Mike from Megawave says, I remember jamming that Hillary Duff CD when I was a little kid. It's all, it's, it's all Duff talk. That's right. Uh, like I remember the Lisa Duff. Simone CD. There was a song... And it was like, I can dig it, he can dig it, she can dig it, we can dig it, they can dig it, you can dig it, oh, let's dig it. And that song's like always in my head. And I, I, I don't know if that's her original song. Or are they, wait, hold on. Is Raven Simone, is that, are they not binary now? Or they, do they come out? That seems I, like no. a thing that I've heard in my in my periphery. I, 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 I don't know, I don't want to misgender Raven Simone. I know, I know Raven I, came out as gay, but anyway. And no, no harm here. But anyway, so that's that song. It was for a Disney movie, and I forget what it was. I think it was for like Lion King one and a half or something. And Yo, Lion King one and a half is actually very sick. I don't. Here's the thing. If I remember, correctly. I don't know what I'm talking about. I have no idea. I'm like, I don't know if I'm misgendering Raven Simone, and I don't know if I'm talking about what that that particular song though on. That Raven Simone album is so good. I would listen to it on repeat. It was so good. I yeah. love it. That's just, yeah. it's just so Raven. That's right. Yeah, it's just so Raven. Damn oh, right. I had a I had a friend like a few years ago who, whenever something wild would happen, they would be like, "That's so Raven." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I wish I could see. I wish I could see stuff. I'm just. I the last thing that I saw from comments was Take Today said all the best people on my screen, and I responded with hearts, and then that was it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that was like right at the beginning. Yeah, mine. Yeah. mine froze around then too. Yeah, yeah. There's, some, there's something fucked up. Like I think the person who starts the live gets all the comments, and like yeah. no one else can see them. It's uh, yeah. that's suspicious. Yeah, that makes sense. The technology is there, but not all the way there. It's not all the way. Yeah. Um. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, what about uh, what about like video shoot day? Should we talk? Should we talk that? Yeah, yeah. I was I was actually just about to say something like that. Um, Let's do it. Yeah. So. Oh, I would love to talk about Sean and Gregory's like random part that that, that it wasn't planned for them to be the couple. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. I think that's really important because I've been sourcing 
like a cute queer couple for like however long it was like a month i feel like it was a few weeks yeah yeah it was it was i feel like it was quite some time and i was sourcing a couple and i got some responses from people and some people it was either like mm, it's like they didn't exactly fit my criteria or the people that did like they were like not getting back to me or they were unavailable and i also hit up people and you know it didn't work out and so there were a few people like, like i'm in florida is that a problem and you were like yeah, yes <laughs> no, it was somebody that field, okay it wasn't yeah. florida it was like i'm in bakersfield i'm like i don't know if you want to come all the way over here yeah. but, i thought there was somebody like, too who was like impossibly far that might have been a reply to my story though when i reposted it maybe I yeah that. and i was like but, i wish we could do you but you're so far <laughs> Yeah, and so the plan was day of the shoot, I was going to shoot me and Reed to be the queer couple right. in the music video. And I was like, okay, well, I'll just do that. And it wouldn't have been as good because, like, you know, I can only do so much and not hold a camera and put it on a tripod or tell someone. It's not going to look exactly like how I want it to look. Totally. I also but think then, like, it would be a pretty big problem. Yeah. yeah, I also think having yeah. it be other people like it brings this like this like almost like narrative to the video. That's yeah. like you're watching a character and also the song is happening and they're separate but they're also together. Like yeah. I think that's yeah. cool. I, for sure, definitely. And like I also like I don't know. I'm like more people the merrier. Like that wasn't. A, it's not a situation where like there's too many cooks in the kitchen or something. It's like no, like these side because. I, like it does the video doesn't have a narrative I don't I just was like I just want it to be pretty and I wanted to have some really cute gay shit going on mm -hmm. like that just sounds like soup like a cute couple doing things yeah. um and so but then when you came to which is like the Pasadena production set that we have um which is also Reed's apartment <laughs> um, <laughs> and so um Ike, you came over, and then your wife and then Gregory were there. Yeah. And then we were talking about, we were, I was setting up for the bathtub scene. Right. Because that's what we shot first. And then we were talking about sourcing a cute couple, and then Gregory was like, oh, yeah, like, my partner is flying back from Seattle, like, right now. And so yeah, we can be in the video. A couple more days, I think. Yeah. yeah, and that was your initial recommendation. Yeah, you yeah. Wanted when, we, to... when we had this call, we made this sheet. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it said concept, cute song, cute couple in vid, Gregory and Sean, question mark. Oh my God. That's and then, so like, cute. I think I asked them that day, and they were like, yes, but Sean's going to be out of town. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's why we we're sourcing other people. And so, like, it was really cool that it worked out that the um the couple that you know was the first in mind ended up working out and so and like sean ended up like like her shirt matched gregory's hair and i was like wait a minute like you don't need to change or anything i was like this looks very natural and like one of my biggest things ever in whether it's a photo shoot or a music video or whatever it's like i don't even want to push people ever to try to be something that they're not or to try too hard to do something because then that's when people start to feel uncomfortable look uncomfortable and you can see it in their face you can see it in their actions and stuff and so like i'm like okay let me stare at a person for a second see the best parts of them like that i see and then capture that in my own way and just have them exist as they are and i feel like i don't know i like Music videos is much different than photos, but like, I feel like that has always worked for me. And so um, Sean was like, I can change my outfit. I can do all this stuff. And I was like, you look perfect the way you are. I was, <laughs> yeah, like, was... You look, I was like, you look like nighttime, casual beach hangout, you know, and their outfits already looked so cute together. Like they both were so well dressed. Oh yeah, they have too. the best fashion sense. Yeah, <laughs> and so I was like, oh great. Like, this is going to be easy and it just like was so natural like everything and that's why I wanted to source a cute couple that was actually like not just two people that were acting like a cute couple because like I don't know finding a cute couple that has like chemistry or whatever it's like everything that they were doing was like they were just being cute yeah 
Yeah. It was, it was very, I mean, there was, obviously I was directing them, like, do certain things, let the tarot cards, hold the tarot card up, point at the sunset, do all these different things. Those were direct, those were directed by me, but, like, yeah. they just were both so cute, like, on their own, you know? Mm -hmm. So it was, like, it was easy. Yeah. I think, too, but, yeah. one of the, one of the fun things about that, why well, not fun, but, like, one of the interesting things I think about that day was how little time we had to film. Yeah. yeah, we spent more time driving than we did filming. Yeah. I, I, I like, I, you know, I don't, I don't live in Southern California and have spent like very limited amounts of time there over my lifetime. But I did, did not anticipate how long it takes to get from point A to point B, no matter how close they are. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, Pasadena is still far from Orange County. So like for anybody watching, we started off in Pasadena in the for the bathtub scene and then we went to like my personal house which like i would never bring random people to my personal house but like obviously it's for reed and for ike and these are people that like i know and aren't random but like i literally those were all shot right here yep <laughs> there's the bed there's the bed um and then the phone yeah i, I spray painted you. that day i found it at a thrift store and it was brown and the I have that. Spray painted it and pink. Then, so yeah, it's, it's but it's still decoration in my room. So that was my work. my first impression of that day in the beginning of the video shoot was going toward Reed's apartment and seeing this hot pink phone on some newspaper on the floor and being oh, like, that was the first thing you saw. Yeah, yeah, the first thing I saw. So funny. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, ah, this must be the place. Yeah. 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 And so, like, from Pasadena to Orange County, that's, like, an hour or something. And, like, we make that commute all the time because, like, you know, that's where she lives. That's where I live. And, like, it's, like, we're, like, an hour. We basically live together. We're just switching where we're at, right? But, like, it's still quite a drive. And then we went from Orange County to Seal Beach, where the beach was that it was shot at. Um, and... We chose Seal Beach because we wanted to be close to Long Beach because we wanted to meet up with Tara. After yeah. That. <laughs> yeah. And so T Tara messaged me too. She said she can't be a part of the live because it's late over. She's in Ohio right oh, now. Oh, that's, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Time, yeah. She's on, Thanks. She's on East yeah. Coast time right now, yeah. Yeah. But like, yeah, so we chose Seal Beach because we wanted to be close to Long Beach, I think, or we were in between trying to figure out. Yeah, I think Seal which... Beach was Gregory's suggestion because he wanted to go to Little Corona Del Mar. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, I wanted to go there because it was, I mean, like, that was, I don't go to the beach often, but if I do, I go to Little Corona Del Mar because it's just very, like, it's, like, luxurious, look, luxurious beach-looking, kind of, where there's, like, big, crazy rocks and, like, it's, um, there's, like, a really shallow area that you can go to and whatever, but it's, like, I'm glad you went to the beach we went to because I ended up I just needed a cute, a pretty beach with a sunset, yeah. you know? And we got, we and, got a hell of a sunset. Yeah. Those last oh, few yeah, minutes, though, were like, as the sun was setting, we're like, oh, my God, we got to go. We got to go. We got to go. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. There were definitely, like, a couple of, like, tricky speed bumps and some shots that you wanted to get, but we didn't because directions were hard to come by. And I think we were like, oh, we're pressed for time. The sun's going down. But yeah. honestly, I love how it turned out so much. I honestly overshot, oh, yeah. too, for sure. Like, I, like... I took so much footage and which is great. Overshooting is great. You know what I mean? Like that you can never go wrong. It's better to have, you know, more footage than have repeating footage or something. Oh, yeah. But like it, like I had so much to choose from and like all, I remember when I was shooting your parts in, in my room, I was just like, so everything looked so pretty because like I have these like prism, like, things on my windows that create rainbows at certain times of the day when like the sun is hitting it I was like oh the rainbows are here okay let's let's shoot this this and this here um and then we'll and just I like just chill for a sec while the clouds passed yeah and, and I just yeah and I just loved how it all looked and so I was trying to get as much footage as possible of you like with the rainbows type of thing but it ended up all working I, I love how it turned out and then the the shots of um I think that was we only did one pass where it was both of you walking towards me at the beach 
Did we only shoot and that once? See, yeah, we tried to shoot it another way, but then it got dark. That was the sh that was the one that that was the shot that I wanted, but we didn't get. But oh, that's we were, okay. Yeah, but that's okay because then the one there was literally like one shot, and I was like, okay, this is good, this is great, that's it. And then the sun was going down, and we had to get to the um, get to like the actual um, shore. We to had get to get the back completion. to the beach, if you will. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we were like pressed for time with that, but like it all ended up working out. I'm very happy with it, and I've told every anybody uh, the three music videos that I've done. Well, now I'm I'm working on three more. Oh, like, yeah. writing three more. Yeah, for like like in the process of right now, like writing or coming up with ideas or whatever. And so, like the past the past three after each one, I'm just like, oh my god, like how am I gonna make this one better than the last one? But like progress isn't linear at all. Yeah. And I'm so happy too that like every video, every like at least like the artists are like so vastly different too that like I don't know, it just like. It's fine, but I'm just like, oh, how is the other one going to be as, like, cool as the last? Because I'm very happy with them, you know what I mean? And, like, as an artist, never, I'm never really happy with my work ever. But for some reason, with music videos, I'm just like, wow, I'm so proud of this. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I love how the two of us video came out so much. It's, yeah. like, fun to watch. It, like, makes my eyeballs feel good watching it, too. Same. <laughs> Big same. I've watched it, you like, know. 20 times, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you just, like, I cannot thank you enough. It's just like eternally, just for you, you made us look so cool and just the vibe. You, so cool. <laughs> you guys are so cool. It's not that hard. Like I said, like I feel like I can see like people as they are and see like the best parts of them and like have that just shine through my camera. Yeah. I don't know. I think that's the most important school. That's the most important skill in in any creative job is is like finding finding what's naturally there and enhancing it. Yeah. Yeah. And not trying to be like I don't know because like you know I like movies and I like music videos and stuff and so like I am a huge fan of who is it? Cardi B. No, Doja Cat. Doja Cat music videos are like I love them, but they're like done in a studio and they're so perfect and they have these big crews and stuff. And so like, you know, and there's so much that can be done too in like post-production and editing. And it's like, I don't know how to do that stuff. I don't have these nice cameras. I don't have any of that stuff. But also I don't even know if like, that's the type of stuff I'd even want to be doing in general, like, like crazy, perfect editorial type stuff. Because at the end of the day, like I'm, even in photo editing, I don't like to take away things that are a part of somebody, like editing out a mole or something or skin imperfections. Like I'll do a little bit of that fixing and retouching, but like, I just like to see people as they are and yeah. not change too much of it. And I feel that way in like videos too, because then, and then if everybody's trying too hard and then there's too much pressure put on people, it's like, then nobody's even having a good time. And at the end of the day, if we're like not all having fun in the situation, then like, yeah. What's the, What's the point? I mean, for sure. Yeah. 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 Life's already so stressful that like, I don't know. I don't know why I just have a, ch I forget, I forget why. Oh, I was bringing this up because um, of talking about um, seeing, seeing people, the good parts of like what somebody looks like, you know what I mean? And then just like capturing those good parts because, you know, makeup can only do so much you know not that not that i not that you wear makeup but i mean like just like people in general i mean you can only do so much to like yeah. i don't know nobody should like put too much pressure on themselves to like change how they look no like and, especially in the moment yeah and and especially like for something that's going to last like a music video can be revisited you know forever you know like if if, if you're putting all that pressure in something into something that's going to stand the test of time you're gonna look back and be like oh well, i don't you know that was like not a good experience or it wasn't it was really stressful for me or not very fun like that just tarnishes the memories mm -hmm. and the end product yeah and like things are always stressful like things are always stressful you know but like 
I feel like um, when at the end of the day, when like the stressful situations were worth it, then it's like, okay, like, you know, it's usually like time or something doesn't work out or whatever. Yeah. But like, honestly, the, the two of us video was like, so oh, that day was so, was such a breeze compared to like the other two I had done. Those were like a lot more preparation and a lot more, there was so much more stuff going on. It was like with this one, it was like so chill and so nice. And I just, I don't know. I was also like, I think every video I'm focused on the aesthetic of it. Like, I'm just like, I just want this to look pretty and make right. my eyeballs feel good and make other people's eyeballs feel good, right? Like yeah. that's, that's what we want. And so, um, I don't know. I was super focused on the like, aesthetics of yours you know because like the other I guess like the different types of effort are put into different types of things I guess and so with yours it was just like all right I need this to look like as pretty and vibrant and pink and whatever as possible and it, it wasn't like some crazy it wasn't like a story and it wasn't like you know the hardest part was sourcing a couple yeah you know that's like that's a breeze compared to like other music videos i feel for like people yeah. yeah it's it's wild how like naturally it came together and it's funny like you know i was mentioning earlier we, we talked a bit about the fact that it was a time crunch and it was like stressful but like at the same time like you said it, it was a breeze because even though we were on this time crunch like everything was falling together just so naturally and exactly as it should have that there was i don't think there was ever any doubt in anyone's mind that like a this is going to get done b it's going to get done right and c it's going to be awesome like there was never any doubt oh, even yeah. through all the like the time crunch and the like oh we got to hustle we got to hustle it wasn't like oh my god we're not going to get it done it was like okay we got to rally like let's go yeah you know, it was very yeah. like positive and and natural yeah, yeah. and there's there's definitely that feeling like after those last few shots that we did uh when when the sun was setting at the beach and you know those are the final shots and i feel like that was pretty symbolic and just like wow there's this amazing skyline like oh, yeah, it was before us so and the video's beautiful. wrapped and we're like a bunch of us are together and we're about to bring more yeah. people together to go to dinner it was just such like nice little bow on top of yeah. Oh yeah, that hangout too was so fun. Yeah. Oh my god, I was like yeah. so glad we all got to do that. Yeah. Um, yeah, that yeah. Day, I mean, it, also like just the hang was cool. Even the drives, like you yeah. know, like us in the car, yeah. like talking or like you were sharing me, me with me music because I'm like very difficult to like music. But I was like, oh, okay, this is tight, you know, yeah. like and being able to talk about music or whatever and it was like just the hang in general was really cool and it was our first time meeting too yeah so it was like we had talked on the phone once and then that was like our first day meeting and you came all the way from where are you in, are you in alameda county or in oakland or where contra costa county bay area yeah bay area okay got it so it was like you came all the way down to get the, to do this video which is like yeah. super cool um and it was like i don't know it was cool because it was my first time meeting you yeah, and I'm just like, I'm just like, I don't know you, but we're gonna get to know each other. Now we know each other because we spent a whole day working together. I feel like working with somebody it really shows like who they are. I guess, in a way. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, and I like what you said, like about like, you know, what we did after the video shoot because it is funny how much like the end of that video really does reflect like the vibe of that day. Like literally, like exactly what you think happens at the end of that video, like a great a great like super chill hang with people that you care about is exactly what happened at the end yeah. of that video. It's so funny. Like it's so perfectly exactly. like. Yeah. And like, I think the last shot of the video is the last shot of the day because I, I remember I was like, yeah. okay, I want them to be like looking out of the sunset and I'm going to be walking backwards from them. And then like, once I was done, I was like, okay, we're done. Yep. Yay. Yep. And then it was super cool. Like, well, and then we like took our selfies and then we were like, all right, let's go out and drink or like, let's yep. go out and get dinner. And like, yeah. Yeah. it was, it was so chill. Yeah, it was awesome. Y'all awesome. Yeah. are getting some love in the comments. Oh, oh I can't good. read it out. Read it out. Miss Brie Romano says Ray's explanation is making me teary. Aww. Explanation of what? I think when you oh. were talking about um, making the video and like, enhancing people's beauty and personalities oh yeah yeah that makes sense. Sense. Oh, okay 
Rude Echo says, just checked out the video. It was great. Reed's verse in the song definitely took it up a notch. Awesome. Which completely true. I think it's I think the whole song is fantastic. It is. I agree. Uh Take Today says, plus Reed and Ray are such amazing people to be around and talk to, and I will absolutely corroborate that. We try. Big fan of y'all. <laughs> it's so funny. Big fan because of y'all. We're like we're in the same house right now. We're just like She's downstairs. I'm pretty much directly below you, I think. Oh, really? Oh, okay. yeah. No, my, no, no, I, oh, yeah, I'm a little further to the side, but we're, we're very, we were, we're gonna, 50 we feet We were going to do it that way, and then she was like, okay, I'm going to come over, and I'm like, I don't want to share an Instagram. And so... <laughs> <laughs> well, I was never what I was saying. I was always planning to do I know, so but I, you said I didn't that, know I was that. like, yeah, I was like, I yeah, know. duh. <laughs> I didn't know, because I'm so, like, I'm just like work and relationship separate mm -hmm. like and yeah. i'm so mm -hmm. i'm so harsh about it but i'm mm -hmm. just like we must keep it separate and so then i was like i don't want to be on the same screen but it's so funny because if we wanted to we could be on the same screen and be yeah. hanging out but <laughs> another time another time another time but it was i wonder if joe is on uh take today joe's super cool like uh was talking to him at best about movies and i don't often talk to people about like weird movies so when i find those people i'm like yo let's talk forever mm -hmm. joe says it is it is joe on take today oh, cool. okay cool hi joe and let's see uh jacob zellman said seriously like the way ray talks about shooting people and like not changing them and seeing the best parts of them is gorgeous yeah, that's why my clients keep coming back. <laughs> but like, I mean, true. I'm, a, I'm, I'm very much a Capricorn, so I'm like, yes, work, yes, money. But the thing is, though, is like, I actually really care about like how people are presented and like from like point A to point Z of working with me. I just like don't want anybody to be like super stressed out or try too hard because even with like, posing people i've shot hundreds hundreds of from little kids to like adults it's yeah. like when people try too hard in any situation they don't look good you put too much pressure on someone they don't look good it's never good they're never gonna look good unless yeah. they're like a professional model you know it's like but most people who are coming to me are not professional models and no one needs to be i think people should be natural and li live and be themselves and I don't even know how to capture myself that way, though, which is really funny. I don't know how to capture myself. I don't know how to look at myself and be like, this is what looks good, whatever. I can do it with anybody else, though. But not uh, me. <laughs> you look so ridiculous. <laughs> Super funny. Yeah. Oh, All right. Um, anything, anything we're missing? Uh, I'm trying to think. It, yeah. Do you want to have burning I questions in the... Uh in the chat i haven't seen any burning questions we can yeah if anyone has i know any there's questions. like a question there's a question box oh yeah I, I know that there's an option to turn it on to like q a mode but i don't know where oh that... there's question wait what does it say there says questions from stories oh i think it was your hot take oh is that oh a... yeah we're seeing answers to to one of your hot takes i think oh good yeah okay. <laughs> Um, I like the hot cake Tuesday. No. No, Let's see. Yeah. Take today said getting to know Reed and Ray, Reed and Ray a little bit in real life is such a pleasure. But also seeing them both in their element, whether it's Reed's performing or Ray shooting a show, both crush it. Well, thank you. Oh yeah, because Joe got to experience that. Not a lot of people really get to experience us like either working because we we work together, but yeah. we also like. We love together too, so it's like no one gets to see yeah. like both, I guess, at mm -hmm. the same on the same day or something. Yeah, yeah. Joe's so cool. Um, like Hillary Duff yeah, and we, Lizzie McGuire, I've never seen them in the same place at the same time. Wait, what? Have you never seen Lizzie McGuire? Well, yeah, I guess never mind. No, I'm I'm Lizzie saying I've never seen Hillary Duff and Lizzie McGuire in the same place at the same time. I've yeah, never seen them standing next to each other. <laughs> wait, are you thinking of Hannah Montana and Miley Cyrus? <laughs> I sure am. <laughs> I right, sure. Am. Okay. I've had a long okay, day. Okay, I was, I was like, wait, what? Who? I yes. Think you meant. I think you meant 
Miley Cyrus. I did mean Miley Montana. Cyrus. Thank you. I thought it was, I thought it was Thank you. Good. I did indeed mean Miley Cyrus. <laughs> okay. It's been a long day. <laughs> no worries. All right. Yeah, we can go over some of your hot takes. I saw the one about the cake. Yeah. About the I... cake and the frosting. I was like, have you, um, red velvet cake? Um, vanilla cake? <laughs> chocolate cake? Yeah, I, I like saw that too and I was I just yeah same thing just I feel bad I don't mean to bash on the person that said that but I'm like I I've worked around a lot of cakes so I know <laughs> I know a thing or two about some cakes <laughs> no <laughs> the cake. yeah <laughs> so speaking of yeah. cakes and desserts um this this student who came in today made me and my coworkers like a dish full of pumpkin chocolate chip cookies and cool. I, I was only working on like two or three other people today and they each had all cookies so now i have just this like tray of a bunch of cookies to take home and i don't trust myself around it i have now a monstrous sweet tooth they're gonna be on tomorrow oh, yeah. for sure they're gonna oh, be yeah. gone tomorrow yeah they're gonna be gone tonight yeah oh my goodness <laughs> just give them to your students yeah this is I, I'm, I'm done for the day i'm off the next two days so it's all me. Oh <laughs> yeah, we have a holiday. <laughs> three meals a day. Yeah, three meals a day. Cookie, cookie, cookie. I love it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um. Um. Feel feeling like wrapping this up? How are you yeah. Like? This was super fun. Yeah. Yeah. Thank it you. was very fun. Yeah. Thank you so thank much for having for us on here. Thank yeah. y'all for partaking in this creative endeavor with me. This is the best thing I could have ever hoped for and imagined, and it was. A fucking dream to work with y'all. So, same. Yay. Very much the same. Yeah, same. It was so, it was so awesome. Okay. All right. Bye, everybody. Thank you for All watching. Right. I'm probably going to post this to YouTube or something, but yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that later. So, y'all have a good night. Oh, to end? Bye. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's